Hi, good morning Facebook fans. Um, just wanted to say Happy New Year to everybody and also to talk a little bit about goal setting since it is the new year. And so the first part is essentially the most important actually, and this is good for life as well. And that's simply starting with the question, what do I want? And that is a question that can be very, very um, superficial as far as the littler wants that people have in life. And sometimes it can be big and profound and deep, like wanting peace or world um, health and, and things like that. So anywho, um, this is a question that is um, a very, very nice one to ask yourself once in a while. Just simply, what do I want? And then once you decide what you want, then it becomes a lot easier to build your goals around that. Um, for example, if somebody wants to quit tobacco, for example, and they develop this decision like, okay, I'm going to do this, then the next step is um, developing the desire and developing the um, decision power that says, all right, this is it, I'm going to do this one task. And then once you make the decision, all of the resources usually suddenly um, start to come up. Uh, for example, you can find websites, you can find other people. If you happen to be part of a um, military organization, the pharmacies very often now have um, you know, patches and, and things like that that can go. Um, there's national hotlines and, and so forth. Uh, but with something um, as big as, for example, tobacco cessation, uh, the biggest part of it is wanting to do it and once you get the why like why do i want to do it and the emotional um, power behind the decision and then it becomes a, a lot lot easier to accomplish uh, that particular goal another thing with uh, goal setting is that sometimes people get this big i've got to do everything or nothing and kind of uh, thing going along with it uh, for example, I saw somebody a few days ago, and after they'd spoken with me for a little bit, uh, they went, I guess, mostly plant-based, um, which is not surprising, since I talk about the health benefits of plants a lot. <laughs> um, but anyway, and uh, and then after a while, they said, yeah, that lasted for a few months, and then I had some difficulty with uh, finding good food at restaurants, which is um, actually a, a barrier, um, especially in this area, uh, to that. Uh, and then I'm presuming that they went back to whatever uh, habits they had before. And sometimes people think of it as a very black or white kind of thing, like I am totally plant-based or I'm totally um, meat-based or whatever their previous diet pattern had before. And I, I want to emphasize again that for a lot of these things, there is a complete spectrum of options uh, on there. In other words, you can have mostly plants and a little bit of other things for flavors and such, or you can have mostly um, uh, animal products and such, and just a spattering of plants, um, which usually is not very good for health in general. Um, usually we like to try to shift the, the balance of things more towards the plant side uh, and less towards the uh, animal product sides in general tends to be good for longevity and, uh, and many, many health benefits, of course, as well. Um, alrighty, so that is one of the things that can be a barrier too, is just that black or white thinking, thinking it's got to be all one or all the other. Uh, for example, if you have a decision to go all the way on this side, and then if you um, end up having, I don't know, a, go out with your friends and everybody else is eating hamburgers and all of a sudden you want to have a hamburger because that old desire is still there and then you have a hamburger well sometimes people think oh my gosh I've just failed and then they go right back to wherever their old habit is and, and that could go with um, cigarettes or, or other kinds of um, health habits that you want to modify or change uh, with time and so having some um, compassion for yourself because anytime you change any kind of a habit, there's always going to be some sort of resistance. I mean, after all, you were doing the old pattern for a while, presumably because there was some benefit to it. You had a, you know, there's a social aspect to things like tobacco or uh, food and um, other health habits. Exercise, for example, is another uh, common one. Um, sometimes people come to 
the meditation center or hang out a lot uh, the first day or two after New Year's, thinking, oh, I'm going to start meditating, and and um, and they come for a day and maybe learn something, then go off. And, uh, and the idea is that with uh, healthy lifestyle habits, the most important part is the global um, uh, pattern of, of whatever you're doing uh, will have an effect. And it does take some time to uh, establish a new habit. It says, uh, they say about six to eight weeks of doing the same new thing every day in order to create the, it's like a new groove in the mind that says, all right, rather than having a cigarette, I'm going to have a chewing gum or I'm going to chew on the back of a pen or whatever, whatever uh, habit uh, that you desire to establish in place of uh, the other one. Uh, sometimes having a uh, clearly defined set of goals can be helpful. In other words, getting back to that question, well, what do I want? Um, and cataloging some of those desires, uh, writing them down, uh, going through them in the mind, uh, and that sort of thing can be helpful because it adds a little layer of clarity um, because obviously the next year is going to happen. And regardless of whether you set course and decide to pursue a particular path, or whether you just kind of do your old whatever you want to do, which people are usually going to do whatever they want to do anyway. Um, and at the end of the year is going to come around again. And where do you want to be at the end of that um, at the end of that next year? And so, if you got an idea of where you want to go, or what you want to do, or what you want to um, feel inside any of these uh, different aspects, it gives you some direction. And then. All of these other resources and guidances and um, you might see something in the internet that strikes your fancy or you might uh, go find some recipes or something um, because if you've got more clarity about what it is you want to do and where it is that you want to go then it's much 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 easier one to stay the course um, because then you can um, choose make other decisions um, based on that first one so, for example, um, if you make a decision to, uh, uh, let's say, move a piece of furniture and put it in this particular position, I'm just using this as a, a silly example in order to um, make the point, well, automatically, a whole bunch of other decisions usually fall along the wayside um, because the piece of furniture is moved over here, well, then... Um, another piece of furniture is not going to go in that place, uh, the picture that you might have thought putting over there is going to be over here and and so forth and so you end up designing the house or the space or whatever um, you know the other decisions in other words kind of fall away or become more clear or easier to make uh, once the first you know big one is is in place um, and so pre-planning what it is that you want to do as well so anytime that people have a desire to do something new there is always going to be an obstacle. Uh, the desire to do the old pattern is usually one of the biggest obstacles in general. Um, but there's other things, you know, what are other people going to say? Um, how is it that you might um, do this new pattern um, in a new work situation or a uh, new social situation and, and so forth? So in the case of food, as an example, as another example, uh, one of my first patients that I uh, really helped with improving their lupus control through um, a, a plant-based diet, uh, was telling me initially that one of the ways that they um, were able to make it work for them was they just realized, well, all right, if I have these other foods, it's going to be very difficult for my joints, and so therefore I don't want to be in pain, so therefore I'm going to figure out strategies to uh, overcome that. So if they were going to a... Um, a social event, they just brought their own peanut butter and jelly sandwich or something um, along with them, and uh, that way they could um, be there and socialize and be with people uh, and just kind of explain to people, yeah, I have trouble with that particular food and I'm allergic or something to it. And that way they were able to um, continue to enjoy the good health, but without, you know, uh, succumbing to the uh, obstacle. So other things that can happen with um, with goal setting is, you know, that all or nothing things, you know, having compassion with yourself to say, hey, look, 
goal setting and changing habits is one of the most difficult things that people ever have to make. Again, look at um, how difficult people have with um, stopping alcohol or stopping tobacco or uh, changing up diet patterns. <laughs> They're all um, very, um, very addictive in their own ways. And so the idea is, um, you know, shoot for the 100% in whatever you want to do. Do it with all your heart and do it with all your um, willpower and all your mind and, and etc. But if you happen to slip back a little bit, in other words, don't beat yourself up. You're human. It's okay. Um, if you, for example, with the diet pattern, if you go from 100% to 99%, your body will be able to um, recover and, and it will be all okay. Alrighty, well, I just wanted to make it short and sweet and give you a few ideas to maybe jumpstart you. Um, below in the comment section, I'm going to put a few additional ideas that um, may be helpful for um, just health in general. And I wish you guys all the best. Uh, a happy, healthy new year, and I hope that you find um, plenty of peace, cheerfulness, and love throughout the year. Take care. Bye-bye, guys.